Hi boys and girls, we are starting a new book today. It is called Mr. Putter and Tabby Drop the Ball. It is written by Cynthia Ryland and Arthur Howard. Now if you look at the front cover, I'm noticing this will probably be our two main characters, right? Mr. Putter. So I'm guessing this older looking man, his name is Mr. Putter. And Tabby. Tabby is the name of his cat. Tabby is also um, a type of cat, so that could be where Tabby gets her name from. And on the cover, it looks like they are playing baseball, because I notice he has a baseball mitt in his hand, and there's a baseball up in the corner here. So, based on that and the title of the book, you can probably guess that it's going to be about the two of them playing baseball together. I'm going to read you what is on the back of the book too before we get started. It's summertime and Mr. Putter decides to join the Yankee Doodle Dandies baseball team. He can still catch those fly balls, but will his creaky knees cooperate when it's time to pick up those ground balls? With a little help from Mrs. T-Berry's good dog Zeke, anything is possible from the outfield. So this is another character in the book. His name is Zeke. And he is the dog of Mrs. T. Berry, who is a friend to Mr. Putter. I'm probably going to go through the first chapter or two today, okay? The beginning of the book. We have Tabby there again with her baseball. Again, it's written by Cynthia Ryland and illustrated by Arthur Howard. So if we take a look at our table of contents here, we notice that table on <laughs> chapter one is called Baseball. Chapter 2 is called The Team. Chapter 3 is The Dandies. The Dandies is the name of the baseball team that Mr. Putter is going to join. We learned that from the back cover. Chapter 4 is called Drop the Ball. And Chapter 5 is called What a Day. So let's get started. Chapter 1, Baseball. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby loved to nap in the summertime. They loved napping in the garden. They loved napping on the porch. They loved napping in the car. These are pictures of all of them napping in all their favorite places. Oh my gosh, Mr. Putter must grow tomatoes. There's a nice porch swing and that's Tabby taking a nap in the sunshine of the car. It seems that we nap all the time, Mr. Putter said to Tabby one day. Tabby was old and her frisky days were over. She loved napping. I think we need a sport, said Mr. Putter. Tabby opened one eye. She opens one eye in this picture. It doesn't look like she's too fond of the idea to join a sport. We'll see. I think we need baseball, said Mr. Putter. Tabby opened the other eye. I wonder where my old mitt is, said Mr. Putter. He headed to the basement. Tabby was wide awake now. There's all this stuff in Mr. Putter's basement. He's looking for his mitt. Chapter 2. The Team. Mr. Putter found his mitt. Now all we need is a team, he told Tabby. Mr. Putter called his friend and neighbor, Mrs. T-Berry. Mrs. T-Berry would know about a team. She was very sporty. She even walked the dog a thong with her good dog, Zeke. There's Mrs. T-Berry walking in the walk a thon. Kind of like our read a thon that we had. Just like a, it's like a walking competition instead of a reading competition. Of course there's a team, said Mrs. T-Berry. It's called the Yankee Doodle Dandies. Am I too old to play, asked Mr. Putter. Heavens no, said Mrs. T-Berry, handing Zeke a sniffy bone. You will feel young on that team. Will my knees feel young on that team, asked Mr. Putter. You are not too old, and neither am I, said Mrs. T-Berry. We'll both play. Mr. Putter hung up the phone. I hope I'm not too old, he said to Tabby. Tabby just purred. To her, Mr. Putter was perfect. 
they are, really are the best of friends, it seems. All right, next time we read, we will be reading Chapter 3, The Dandies, which is the name of the baseball team that they joined together. I hope you liked the beginning of this new story. I hope you're having a great week. I miss you guys so much, and I will see you soon. Bye.